see this right here? Perfect. I want you to like, even if you don't touch it. I want you to like, you want 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 to like, you want
and how open or closed my lever is. Obviously, the bigger side of the comb, the longer I'm keeping the hair, the more open the clipper, the longer, the longer that I'm gonna be keeping the hair, and vice versa. You already know what I like to get into on this side, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the message. This is from Church on Sunday from Marie Seal when we preach, so let's get into it. Jesus came so we could be reconciled to God. 1 John 3 8. Before Jesus came, we went to Abraham's bosom. Jesus came to destroy the works of the devil. The prayer of faith is any prayer prayed in faith, in line with the Word of God. James 4. 7 and 8 submit yourselves to god fully james 4 7 and 8 goes in order make sure that y'all read that the steps go in order none of us are getting to heaven by works jesus is the only way to heaven we're blessed to be a blessing we have to know the word of god we need evidence so you can't just say this that or the other because somebody else said it you gotta know the word of god know where you can find certain scriptures for healing or for miracles or whatever subject it is that you need help in or you need to help somebody else with you should be able to know where to find it in the word of god to know god is to know his word the power is in the word of god expect god to fulfill what he said go boldly to the throne of grace hold god to his word he isn't a man that he can lie god said he would bless anything we put our hands to we need god every day seek him early go to god with his word and spend time with him spiritual warfare to focus on God and not experience. Never give up, walk humbly, knowing that we have the victory in Christ. Think about that saying right there. Never give up, walk humbly, knowing that we have the victory in Christ. Y'all, that's so powerful. With unity comes strength. I, I heard a quote the other day that said, when one man stands up, it often encourages many more to stand up, especially for what is right. The enemy's job is to conquer and divide. Cast down all negative thoughts. That's a Bible verse. Once you start claiming God's word, it's yours. And it'll start manifesting itself in your life. God has so much for you. John 17, 15 through 20. The Bible is the blueprint of heaven. Revelations 19, 13. John 1, 1 and verse 14. Jesus is Lord. When we want to overcome, we need to see and do what Jesus did. He gave us the perfect example to follow. Jesus is the perfect example to follow. 2 Timothy 3.16 The word of God was written in a way for us to grow closer to God. Like I said earlier, to know God is to know his word. You have to get in his word and study his word. That's the number one way to grow closer to him. John 10.27 The word of God is the primary way to grow closer to God. Read, pray, praise. That's top three. Take time to listen to God speak. Another major way to grow closer to God is to be faithful and obedient and to listen and obey him and his word. Rely completely on the Holy Spirit to guide, teach, and lead you. Thank you, God, for being ever-present in my life. Get in the Word of God yourself. Don't go off of what he or she said. It don't matter how good of a person or how godly of a person that that person is. It's, it's something about you doing it. Like I said time and time again, to know God is to know his Word. Don't forsake the assembling together. John 14 16. God will give you revelation knowledge. If you're faithful to the Word of God, God is faithful to you. Because God is faithful to his word. Don't let that go over your head, y'all. Scripture first, then caption. I wrote that for my Instagram videos. When I post, make sure I put the scripture first in the caption. Jesus is the answer. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. All right, y'all. So to get into the lineup, what I did was I took a one and a half clothes and I cut with the grain. And now I'm just cleaning my canvas. As a barber, you are an artist. The artist doesn't paint on a dirty canvas. Make sure that you don't cut on a dirty canvas. 
Now I'm taking a neck strip with sea breeze or alcohol and I'm just wiping the areas that I'm gonna be cutting. Then I'm gonna blow dry it, make sure I get it up nice and dry. some Tresemme. I believe this is volume 4 or 5. I think it might be 5. And I'm just going to spray the areas that I'm going to be lining up. And then I'm going to spray the next strip um, with the holding spray. Same holding spray. And I'm just wiping it in the direction that I want the hair to lay. This is going to hold the hair in place. And it's going to give me better visualizations to be able to get the best crispy lineup possible. And it's, it's a lot. A lot of your lineup has to do with the preparation you put into it. Then you want to make sure that you blow dry that. So with the front lineup, y'all, y'all can see I'm combing it. His, his lineup is pretty in place. He doesn't have a lot of overhang. So wherever I put this line at, it's pretty much where it's going to stamp it in. So with my lineups, I like to start in the front. And I like to work my way from the middle to the side. And once the, once the front meets the side, that's when I tap the vertical bar in. Y'all can see I'm keeping this thing natural as possible. He said he wanted it natural as possible. His front and a couple areas is kind of lighter, but a full, nice, full, thick hairline. So, like I said, I like to take it from the front to the side. And once the front meets the side, I tap the vertical bar in. So here I go with the vertical bar. I'm just gonna make sure that I create that 90 degree angle and I'm not, he did ask me to push it back on the vertical bar in the video. Y'all can go to the front of the video and see he wanted me to cut the hair that he had already cut because he's a he was a barber previously so he cuts his own hair a lot. With the C cup I'm gonna start at the bottom of the vertical bar. Then I'm gonna go and I'm gonna go to the bottom of the C cup and I'm gonna work my way to the top of it. Then I'm just rinse repeating doing the same exact thing on this side. Making sure that I keep everything natural and clean as possible. Making sure that I always solidify my lineup. And by solidify my lineup, I mean I do my first initial line right. Put my first lineup in. Then I'm going to comb the hairs down. And I'm going to cut any overhanging hair so that there aren't any. So the lineup solidified. That's going to make the lineup last as long as possible. And it's going to just add another detail. Level, it's going to add another level of detail in your haircut in your lineups which is really one of the most important part of your lineups so this is gonna make the cut last longer for the client and I promise you they're gonna love it so to do my ear lineups y'all I like to work my slant from the bottom to the top and uh, once I get to around the top of the ear I like to convert to using the last couple of teeth of my blade or the corner of my blade to finish making that arch shape around the ear. Make sure that when you're doing any type of lineup that you're not pushing it back at all and you're just keeping it natural as possible and clean as possible. Go over it multiple times and I promise you eventually the line's gonna pop. Then like I said before, I'm real big on solidifying my lineup so I'm just solidifying my lineup, combing any hairs forward, making sure I cut them so the lineup lasts as long as possible. Y'all can see this thing butter. Got my, got my guy looking clean, man. Go ahead. He, he obviously, you can see, he like his little thin mustache. He be doing it himself, so I'm just going to head and I'm going to tap it in real quick. Damn, dog, you made that beat. You made that beat. Y'all can see, man, this thing did not need any enhancements, but he's in town for the weekend, man. He live in Minnesota. He in town for the weekend. He trying to get the whole late phase experience. Like I said, this is like my brother right here. So, been rocking since sixth grade. So, man, he, I just wanted to show him how much more about I improved since I cut his hair last time. Because last time, I ain't gonna lie, when I cut his hair, I jagged. So, with the enhancements, y'all, I like to use Kiss Express and... This is how I do it. I'm just applying a light amount. I'm not doing too much. I still want it to look natural as possible. And y'all can see how good it's matching up with this skin tone and with the color of his hair. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna throw some fibers on top of it just to give it a more natural look. To tone it down a little bit, you feel me? I wouldn't want no type of shine. 
and the fibers is yeah like i said they give it a more natural look it obviously is meant to feel and look pretty much like hair then i'm gonna comb the fibers through and for the people who asking about my new fiber gun i do i do like it better and i do recommend it i'm still learning how to use it and then when it comes to fibers y'all make sure that when you go to line fibers up that you keep them in the lineup that you already had created don't push the hairline back because you're trying to line the fibers up crispy. Line the fibers up crispy, obviously, but line them at the line that you already have. Right here, y'all, for the razor work, make sure that you stretch the skin, hold your razor at a 45 degree angle, and make sure that you just let the razor do the work. You don't gotta press hard, make sure you, you don't wanna cut the client. With his beard lineup, he wanted to keep it as high up as possible, and he did have some hair growing in, so that's why I put it high up like that. I don't need none of y'all to talk crazy talking about his beard lineup ain't gonna be crispy when he takes a shower or whatever. It, it will be once it grows in. That's how that's how hair works. Once it grows in and it gets darker, then it's gonna be crispy. It's gonna be popping. It's already gonna be crispy, but it's just not gonna be as dark as obviously his chin hair because his chin hair is longer. If y'all was able to sit through this 18 and 19 minute video of me, I truly appreciate y'all. If y'all came just because you like watching barber videos, I hope that you were satisfied. If you came to learn something, I hope that you take something from my game, apply it to yours, advance in your career, in your craft, in your life. And if you came for the message, I hope and pray that it touched your heart, your soul, your mind, and your body. Even if you didn't come for it, I hope that it reached you and it touched you on um, the impact of your life in a positive way. Man, this thing is crispy. Let me know what y'all think about this cut in the comment section. I think it turned out super clean. I enjoyed, you know what I'm saying, making this video. Like I said, this is one of my childhood best friends, man. Still one of them, like, this is my brother, man. I don't even want to say best friend. This is like my brother, man. So, yeah, man. It was a, it was chill, man. It was an honor to be able to cut you up, bro. This, like we talked about, like we talked about, man. This is legendary, bro. This is literally history. So, yeah. Taper, I got, I got you right though, bro. Taper, taper butter, man. The lineup extra crispy. Y'all see my big bro Haven in the background. Make sure that y'all like, comment, and subscribe, man. This truly helps me to grow. This is like the three main things, along with how long y'all watch my videos. So make sure that y'all watch all the way through. Make sure that y'all like, comment, and subscribe. I truly, truly, truly appreciate every single person individually who watches this video and who likes comments and subscribes without y'all there is no me and most importantly without god there is no me so all the power going on and praise be to god make sure that y'all continue to put people on in my videos who want to learn how to cut like me who want to get it cut how i do cuts um who want to show it to their barbers and most importantly for people who you think would enjoy the message because that's what i'm trying to do i'm trying to reach as many people as i can for the kingdom of god and to spread the word to as many people as I can. I hope to see you back on the next video. Thank y'all for tuning in to The Late Show, and may God bless.